Alright, once again it's on. We're about to do a shopping video during the food shortage and we're walking into what store? What store do you guys think we're gonna go into? Da -da -da. Can you see it? You can't see the sign because the trees are in the way. Dun, dun, dun. Your friendly neighborhood Walmart. See you on the inside. Plant based homestead prepper where we make prepping fun. All right, so here we are. We're walking in and I see a ton of pineapples. A ton of sweet potatoes. Not really. They got a whole big old thing right here, but only the top is full. But I'm, I'm looking and staring at like 50 pineapples. Look at here. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Should I get some? And, and they're at a good price. They're $1.83. Yummy. All right, so we got strawberries, grapes. They're seedless, of course, but I see a bunch of your know, open spaces. See a bunch of open spaces already right there. And I see some open spaces over here as well. But all in all, not looking too bad off the bat. Uh -oh. Let's see here. Got a lot of stuff just sitting out here. Oh my god, look at these bananas. We got absolutely no bananas here. One banana right, squash. Hmm. One butter squash. I think that's what that's called. Um, sweet potato. They got sweet potatoes everywhere. Which is to be expected. I told you guys, you know, the closer we get to Thanksgiving, the more food you will see. Oh, they got a sell on sweet potatoes too. 62 cents a pound. Look at here. <laughs> that bin is empty. And look at the bananas. The bananas are gone. 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 Alright, so let's go check out the morgue since we're right here at it. Got people out stocking, which is great. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. Alright, yeah, you know. Okay, so you can see open spaces, empty shelves. Open spaces, empty shelves. Ooh. Let's go over here and see. Okay, the new fish eaters. Not looking too good. It's chicken and stuff. Uh, oh my god, look at this. Look at these shells over here. Alright, here you go, pork eaters. Alright, pork. I could have picked a better time to come in. Look at the turkey. Right. And the chicken. Okay. See a lot of open spaces. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, Grim, here you go, bud. 16 ounce pack of bacon, country. Farmhouse 338, but it's looking kind of grim, looking kind of bleak. They are, I'm going to zoom back so y'all can see all these open spaces. All right, I'm not making this stuff up. Now the cold cuts look pretty good, hot dogs look good, but, and they are stocking, so, but that's summer sausage right there. Ew. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, a bunch of hams. Uh, and I just talked to one of the workers. I was like, hey man, what's going on with the bacon? right like I was real concerned he's like hey that's all we got it comes in fresh and if it didn't come in on the truck we ain't got it I'm like oh boy 
All right, since we're over here, let's go down this aisle, the bacon aisle. Look at there. There's your, uh, there's your carnation milk. It's missing. Good gracious, what in the world is going on here? And I know people are like, y'all don't like when I turn the camera around real fast, so I apologize, but when I see it, I gotta, I gotta report it. All right, so empty shelves, empty shelves. Look at here, empty shelves. Oh, at least we got vegetable cooking oil. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> we're going to go down this aisle that I never go down, which is the cereal aisle. And we're just going to pass through here and just look and see what's going on with the cereal. Looks pretty good to me, guys. I'm just in awe with this bacon, though. I mean, it's like so many open spaces on the bacon aisle. We're not going to go down. Yeah, the food aisle looks all right. Always wants me to go down the paper paper aisle for some reason. I don't know why. You got plenty of sparkle, you got, you got plenty of this kind of stuff. Now here's an open space right here, but that's not a big deal. Now I'll need a quicker picker up here. Right? Okay, let's go, let's go for what we came for. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. I'm passing by the juices and the dairy looks all right to me. I'm trying to find the eggs, see if the eggs like, okay, milk. Show you guys the milk. All right, no biggie. All right, water is 60 cents a gallon for purified drinking water. So in a pinch, that will do. Um, spring water, 60 cents a gallon. Okay, not bad. And they even got the baby distilled water for a dollar. So, prep items that you would need to change the packaging because if you store water in gallons, eventually they will rupture. I tried that in the beginning and wasted so much water and destroyed my closet in the process. Not really, just it ruptured and water goes everywhere. And I didn't even realize it, so he had done it, gotten wet and dried up by the time I realized it. So, electronics are everywhere. Pass the electronics, it's all good. So we're gonna keep moving on back here to the, how y'all doing? We're moving on back here to the um, sporting goods aisle. I'm gonna get us another, uh, 107 gallon water storage containers so I'll come back when I get back there so here we go um, apparently they don't have what I am looking for I am looking for the big seven gallon containers oh, there, there's one right there that's what we're looking for right. it's so high up I don't know if I can reach it I am height challenged but when you're short, you figure out ways to do things. Okay, looks like Life Straw has a new thing. I've never seen this little doohickey with it. Hmm, interesting. And there's another Life Straw product. I keep hearing that the mini Sawyers and the Sawyers are better. Um, I don't personally know. But you can't go wrong in this section right here, all right? You cannot go wrong. Especially in a pinch. Huh. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab something real quick like this little camping fork thing. And we're going to get this container down. 
Somebody was talking about these other day, these folding shovels. And they said, make sure you get a good one. So I will let you guys see me do some buffoonery. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. When you're short, you got to figure it out. Okay? And I am shorter than a lot of people. So let's see here. We got some mountain houses. I'm sure this is pretty expensive. Um, golly, I just seem like that's very expensive. How many? It's two and a half servings, and I guess it's just add water. I've never tried them. Contains soy and wheat. Two hundred calories. That's interesting. Wow, that just seems really, really expensive to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Go check out our friends Paul and Adrian at Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. So let's see here. We got a turkey dinner. No added MSG, no artificial flavors, no artificial color, no preservatives. Open package. Obvious. Terra Notch. Obvious. Remove and discard oxygen absor absorber. Absorber. Carefully add one. <laughs> and a quarter cup of boiling water. You better be careful. Stir carefully and close zipper. Wait five minutes, stir again, and reseal. Less than an additional four minutes. Stir and enjoy, right out the pouch. Mm, that sounds like an MRE. Okay, let's see what's in it. Whole grain wheat flour, enriched wheat flour, blah, 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 blah. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing too many bad things. Okay, turkey, white meat, turkey salt, natural flavor, green beans, celery, carrot, turkey broth, turkey stock, natural flavors, salt, yeast extract, sugar, butter, sweet cream, cornstarch, dehydrated onion, spice. Guys, I can't, I mean, I really can't see anything wrong with this, to be honest with you. Other than it's meat and we don't eat meat. But in a pinch and in a survival situation, yeah, I can see this is this is the way that you know this some this some good stuff right here. Let's try it. Let's read another one. Let's read another and see. ID I want biscuit hash. I'm sorry, breakfast hash, scrambled eggs, biscuit and gravy, ice cream. Hmm, not sure about that. Lasagna, chili mac with beef. Let's try lasagna. Let's see what the lasagna says. All right, open package and tear at notch. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. You better do that, because if you eat that oxygen absorber, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, let's see what's in it. Tomato juice. Da -da 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 okay. I'm not seeing too many bad things in it. Dehydrated parmesan, really? Okay, skim milk, dehydrated mozzarella cheese. So it's got a lot of cheese in it. And this might not be what you want to eat if you are in a survival situation because you, it may prompt you to go to the bathroom. And I don't know if you want to do that. Okay, too much. You have to pull out some of uh, Canadian Prepper's disc things and, and wipe your butt. But this this little section right here, um, especially if you're just getting started, be careful because this this can really this can wipe you out especially if you you're getting started and you don't really know um what to get and how to get what to get this this section right here will absolutely break you okay it can could could break you um i'll point out a few things that that you can do uh you can get some matches but you can take regular matches and you can make them waterproof yourself just burn a candle, put the put dip them in the wax. When you get ready to use them, take the wax off just and and use them that way. Oh, I'm glad I thought about that. I gotta get some tea candles. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> while I'm in this section and while I'm thinking about it, what I want you guys to do, this is a must this prep alert right here. This is a must 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 all right you ready for this 
uh, if you're by yourself and you need survival, um, make sure you have yourself a tent. And I'm talking about for the inside of your house. And if you have a family, make sure you get something that sleeps. You know, however many people that are in your family right here. This is perfect. 25 bucks. You can thank me later because if the power goes out, you can pitch this tent inside your, your house and you will be warm. Okay. Prep alert. Serious prep alert. Make sure you get one of those or two. Remember, two is one. One is none. Remember that. Prep alert. Prep alert. I have another prep alert. Sleeping bags. I mean, you can't. In my opinion, it can't have never have too many. This one is rated comfort level at 30 degrees. Okay, so let me see this one. This one stretches out seven feet. Oh shoot, comfort level of 10 degrees. So that is definitely going to keep you warm right there. And it's only five pounds. Let's see. Yeah, that's about five pounds. It's not bad. Okay, and apparently it's very very warm. Probably should get one from my house right now, especially since we don't have any heat. That's my choice, though. <laughs> so, apparently this is a prep alert. <laughs> All right, guys. So, we're going to take, we're going to put this to the test. This is 100 candles for four bucks, basically. And I can't remember who to give the credit to, but someone was like, you can take eight key tea candles and you can boil water with them. So, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to put that to the test. And here are 50. Prep alert. Here are 50 of them for 233 and 100 This is cheaper. Uh, basically, four bucks. Okay. And they have this kerosene lantern down here with the lamp oil. Hmm. It's only $12.87. The lamp oil is 788. It's not a bad little buy. I saw something else that caught my eye. What was it? Oh, here's one right here. I like this one. That's like that old school stuff. Why is it that we are so fascinated with old stuff or old looking stuff? This is new. Uh, and then here's a smaller one for 10 bucks. Okay. So which one should I get? Should I get the smaller old style like railroad looking type thing? Or should I get one like this? Now this one is I don't I don't really need any kind of lighting apparatus. I just think it's cool. So that's 13 bucks. That's 14 bucks. This appears to be a little safer to me. So apparently you put your oil here. I haven't I haven't had an oil lamp, lamp in so long. You put your oil here. You got your little wick burner, and this controls that. So, you just light your lamp. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I do think it's a, I do think I do think it's amazing. Uh, let's see here. I guess these are things that you can put your candles in. It's mighty big, and then of course they have these little lights too, uh, the little battery ones. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple packs of these. So remember, two is one, one is none. Okay, but you always have to purchase within your budget, of course. All right, and then they had a little lamp wicks. Here they are. Apparently, they're pretty easy to uh, replace. You guys, let me know in the comments if I'm making a bad decision not getting lamps, lamp oil, and wicks. Let me know, and let me know if you can find them cheaper. That just seems to be a little expensive to me. All right. Prep alert. Alright guys, look. Um, if you don't have any kind of alternate power and you are looking to get into it, I did a video at Harbor Freight uh, and I just ran up on this little dude. He can right here for 40 bucks. This is not bad. It gives you three ports. One, two, three. So you can charge um, your devices. And these things last, I mean the battery on these things lasts a good little while. Especially if you keep it charged up. So uh, that's not a bad prep, okay? Just um, just FYI, it's a cheap, it's a cheap way of um, getting started with power. Okay, so prep alert, matches, matches. So what I'm going to do, what my plan is, I'm going to grab a couple of these doohiggies, and what I'm gonna do is, when Jennifer's burning candles, I'm just gonna dip them in that wax to make them waterproof. 
and I can't remember who I learned that from. Some one of these YouTubers. But for a dollar and seven cents, you can't go wrong. So we have matches, can't tea, tea lights, tea candles, tea lights, <laughs> and we got a water bottle. So all together, it's going to be about 16, 17, 20, 22, 24, under 30 bucks, okay? So I'll show you guys when we get outside. Guys, now you know normally I am bashing Walmart, but I got to admit, and I told a young lady, and I went up to the manager, I wish I had my camera rolling because I had the most wonderful experience checking out. Now, I don't like going through the self-checkout, one, because I feel like I'm paying my money and I'm shopping, and then I feel like if I got to check, check myself out, I should get like a 10 or 15% discount because I'm now doing your job. So I waited in line, and I waited on this young lady named Nakia, and I observed her actually doing her job and then she put the she bagged the, the lady's groceries and then she actually walked around the cash register and put her put the lady's stuff in the um in the basket so i'm like okay that must be a fluke because the you know the lady was was an elderly lady in front of me i was like okay she's not gonna do that for me so she bagged my stuff set it up on top of the thing i don't even know where i parked that y'all i'm so excited and I, bought, I had to, you know, I got this, well, she put my bag on top of the, the, the bags. So I took my bag, and as I was paying, this girl actually took the water bottle and put it in the shopping cart. I can't believe it. And I told her, I was like, you know, I've been shopping at Walmart for a long time, and I've never had anybody to give me the customer service that you just did. Thank you so very much. She's like, really? She's like, well, I feel like, you know, you worked all day, and, you know, you're shopping, you're tired. That's the least I could do. And I was like, what? So then, I saw the little girl. Y'all know anybody who's under 30 to me is a little girl. So the little girl was walking around in the yellow vest. I assumed she was a manager because she had a radio. I was like, hey, I just want to talk to you about this young lady over here. She's like, what young lady? And she thought I was about to be mean and nasty. I was like, best cashier ever. Aaron. And she immediately gets on the radio. And she gives this girl props throughout the radio, okay? So, I don't know if this is like a corporate Walmart or this is Super Walmart or something, but they were stocked. They had all kind of stuff. They did have some, some issues with some meat today. But overall, great experience. Uh, remember, we're still in a food shortage, y'all. And even though we're getting close to Thanksgiving, don't let your guard down because they're gonna have plenty of food in the stores. But I keep saying that and I walked in and they didn't have any kind of any kind of bacon at all. So I know I know Grim, if he had come to this store, he would have been upset. Because they didn't have any bacon for him. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. I'm excited. You notice I have a no shave chit, so I am not shaving. But um anyway. Oh, I said I was gonna show you guys what we walked out with. With the with the water bottle. The two things of tea, uh, tea lights and the two packs of matches came up to $27 and $27.23 uh, plus tax $28.78. All right. So that's what we spent on preps today. But we're going to be warm tonight. Because I'm going to try to light these tea, uh, tea lights tonight. And I'm going to see how, um, how warm they keep the room, if any. All right, guys, thank you for being here. Make sure you watch the next video. It is catered just for you. Tailored. It's tailored just to you, not catered. That's food. I'm hungry. <laughs>